Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Arndorf, uh, it's me Skibith and today we are going to do more changes in Arndorf guys, it's, uh, it's that time of the year, <laughs> actually that time of the year began since we did this new season, I know, we keep doing changes but trust me, I, I, I'm looking so many times from above like a bird's eye view uh, and I see the city changing pretty damn good actually. I love it, I completely love it and I'm gonna keep doing this until uh, we manage to do a lot of changes, we change the entire city, we fix it and that is because as you saw in the intro cinematic there are stuff that are missing from you know the, the map plus many old stuff. Anyways, I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over again for at each uh, of my episodes but that, that that's the real truth. So today we are going here in I think it was called uh, Lobegast uh, district or something. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, there are two districts. Ooh, yes, we are working today on two districts, previous districts, because not anymore. It was Lobegast and Erding, I think. Yeah, Erding. Uh, Erding uh, district has also a university. Yeah, kind of. And here in Lobegast we have... Uh, a fire station, we have this train station that you can see here, uh, this one, the David S. fire station, that was named after one of you guys. Anyways, lots of changes will be done. Uh, first of all, as always, we do start with deleting, um, you know, previous uh, ooglu uh, things. And uh, yeah, we continue uh, by redoing uh, things. And uh, eventually, we are. I'm gonna go redo completely the um, old town, let's say, old part of the town. Actually, when I started recording this one and I did the build and so on, I also took a super short break, eventually. And then uh, I continued by doing the old town. You'll see probably at the end of the cinematic and, pro and also when I'm gonna do the, uh, let's say, the, in the, the, the outro video where I'm gonna show you what changes we've done you'll see probably some small parts of uh, the old town, uh, the changes at least, you know. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do here, I deleted some uh, some of those parking lots over there, the, the, the th three roundabouts, I think there were three of them in total, and I'm just gonna add a few more residential buildings. I wanna fill this area with more buildings. I wanna get more, more, uh, of these buildings or any type of buildings like this just because this city it was you know done based on some so-called stories that, uh, um, uh, said by Johan and now they don't fit anymore the, the city it's too open I, I, I said that in one other video as well it is really really open and I don't like it like that. I don't like having a very open city. We, we need to, you know, do more clusters of buildings and of, of, of any other things so we can make it more realistic, let's say. Here, this is the football stadium. I know there was a football club over here. We named it somehow. I don't remember. If any of you guys remember, please do let me know in the chat. It, it would be fun remembering the name of this um, uh, football stadium and I'm gonna do some changes I'm gonna bring some changes to it to make it more you know look much much better and definitely we are going to rename this one I'm gonna rename the football stadium after one of my patrons as always as I always do for uh, my um, uh, in my videos uh, I've added here even a, a small uh, area where people can sit and watch the, the game and um, just plopping down lots of stuff like trees and buildings around this whole building. You can see here in this uh, before and after cinematic because I just don't want to keep doing that over and over again. So in, in the end it will look pretty well. Uh, the naming, uh, when I'm gonna give some names here guys at the, uh, for, for the district, for the stadium, for some streets and so on, I'm gonna do it at the end of this uh, time-lapse uh, period of time uh, because uh, I want you guys to see it and uh, yeah, it, it makes more sense I guess. And um, a lot of things 
a lot of changes actually. I don't know if, if it was better before, and when I say better, I mean only for a road system over here. Here we have another three roundabouts. Uh, I don't know if it was better or not. I don't. I didn't like it anymore, and I needed. Uh, I need. To, I had to make things work a tiny bit, bit better than how they are now. Were actually not are now. Um, and I, I was thinking to do like. You know, we have this big boulevard here. I call it Laubegas Boulevard. I want to keep the name. So I named this part of the boulevard, uh, like Laubegas. And I want to, you know, it's, it's a three lane per way uh, boulevard. And I wanted to make something, you know, easier uh, to, to, to have a, a, a better traffic, let's say. And to do so, I went with uh, this kind of exits and entrances to this um, big boulevard just before the bridge or after the bridge depends on from, from where you are coming or look again, uh, looking at it but I, I, I made something like you know uh, it is used to be done for highways just again to influence the traffic in a good way of course I'm gonna close the middle of the lanes there so cars don't turn uh, left and you know the traffic keep flowing pretty well I guess. Even the trim line is going to be set a bit different. Uh, you will see the tiny bit later if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not gonna keep uh, building or doing the, uh, the trim line going through the roundabout as it was before. This time it's going to be a tiny bit different. It will of course cross some of these roads but not through the roundabout itself. Even though it's very commonly in uh, uh, Europe but hey it is what it is and this time it's going to be different. Uh, here doing some lines to make sure, uh, not to make sure the cars will follow them, but to make sure they look properly. And uh, I'm gonna fill in the center of the road over there with uh, some concrete. And um, this way, you know, it makes more, let's say, sense uh, on how this uh, thing looks like and how cars should drive. I'm gonna also ban cars again turning left or just crossing that big boulevard over there. Not gonna happen guys. This is a trim line I was telling you about. Uh, so I'm gonna cross some of the roads over there. Yeah, it will influence the traffic, but it's not going to be the same way as it is uh, like when it was going through uh, the roundabout itself. So it is going to be a tiny bit better. I'm gonna use this type by the way, I haven't mentioned, I kind of use, I'm kind of using new type of buildings uh, here in Andor for quite some time now. Uh, so I'm not only using those made by Feinbuild, uh, I'm using few more made by other creators as well. Probably, not probably, I'm sure they don't, you know, kind of match all together. But due to a very low amount of buildings or, yeah, buildings from Germany, it is what it is. I mean, we have plenty of them. Fane Build and a few other creators, including Titan as well. They did a great job, but the buildings look from different eras or areas or countries. Might. So it is German countries, but a tiny bit different. So yeah, you will see a difference. Anyway, just bear with it and it is what because it, it is what it is, right? Uh, here you just spotted two cinematics with before and after. I just don't want to do the same thing over and over again by plopping down buildings and focus more, let's say, on the palace, the summer palace, which, I don't know, it looks very bad now. Lots of stuff disappeared from there. And uh, on the other side of the summer palace area, you saw on the right side of the screen, it was a place where I think I made it for people without houses, you know, back in the days when I was telling the stories to uh, Johan. Johan was saying like there are like lots of people living uh, on the in tents or living in the woods just because they couldn't afford and they wanted to move here in Andorf. So we built like a, a shelter, more or less, uh, small houses, and they were given to the people just to you know have a roof on top of their heads. So anyways, we are going to name, rename that uh, uh, one as well. So it will be this beautiful palace with gardens and a lot of green areas and whatnot. And then at the back of it, uh, we will have some extra things 
plus all together we will have some um, uh, that shelter for people there I, I don't know it's going to look pretty interesting in my opinion and I was thinking guys to make a very small like a contest I, can I say it's a contest I don't know let's see if you guys are interested to participate here in this big garden area, you know, all palaces, European palaces, have really beautiful, interesting gardens, like with uh, interesting bushes, all sorts of bushes, grass, and of course flowers. So I build these roads over here. They will be a one-way type of road and roads, and in the middle of this road, this oval bout, let's call it, it's an oval bout or egg bout. I'm gonna leave it empty and in the middle here I want you guys to come up with ideas. I'm uh, doing this, let's say, contest uh, through uh, the help of my uh, Discord server. You can find the Discord server at the description of this video, of course. And just look for the, uh, for the channel inside the Discord named Andorf and it will be a contest there. I'm gonna I'm leaving there all the necessary information for you guys to know exactly what is the contest uh, what you need to use because you have to use few uh, props to make those gardens so if you are interested go ahead please join us again in the young and the rough no no it's not that's not what I should have said uh, join join me in uh, in this interesting contest so you can uh, so your gardens might, uh, you know, uh, be used here. I was uh, struggling here trying to find a solution for pathways when I kept deleting stuff and then I went with something extra. I'm gonna use this type of, uh, of pathway and this is because I like it. It's, it's very interesting, it, it looks like some um, uh, concrete uh, slabs and it's pretty interesting. I know it's quite narrow but in the end it's not bad at all. And I don't use it. I don't want to use extra st stuff. Plus, it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, grass, uh, uh, trees, flowers, whatever. Uh, so it's enough. No, no need to use more decals to cover them up over there. Uh, every the entire uh, palace here is going to be surrounded completely by uh, fences. And this is the uh, university right uh, next to the area where we kept building over here. This is the Erding University, I think it's medical or something like that. I don't know what type of uh, university this was. I'm doing some small changes. I'm gonna bring some small changes to it as well. It, it's again, we brought uh, uh, changes to this and uh, to districts. So I'm gonna bring changes to the university as well because few things were kind of missing. So <laughs> jumping back to the. Uh, Jumping back to the uh, Summer Palace, uh, again, I'm gonna keep this type of pathways as they are, covering, uh, adding benches uh, and lots of few other little details here and there, fountains, bushes, flowers. This is what you usually see inside of a palace, gardens especially, right? So trying to keep up with the, what we are used to see. And again, you guys should actually uh, Take part of this so-called contest. Um, it's it is going to be interesting. I did this kind of contest before when I was doing the story side of uh, Andorf, and in my opinion, it was pretty interesting and cool. So you should guys uh, participate if you are interested. Uh, now, what I've also seen or noticed uh, to uh, many palaces within Europe is that they are kind of surrounded by very bushy trees or some really big green type of fences just you know to keep it outside of people's eyes let's say if you want to visit you have to go inside you can't see that much from outside so i'm gonna completely cover the surrounding with these kind of trees and decided to do some cobblestone, or not cobblestone, to do some interesting uh, tiles in front and surround, uh, in back and inside the palace area. I felt this one fits per uh, perfectly. This is of course from the workshop itself um, and it looks pretty interesting in my opinion. I was a very <laughs> close to color, uh, color them, but you know what? Black and white 
it's a tiny bit better. And doing the inside gardens of the palace was another idea of mine uh, to keep it more serious uh, and within the you know realistic uh, more or less of course uh, with the uh, with the realistic what, what what was I saying to keep it more realistically okay um, benches of course statues usually inside these uh, gardens you see statues with uh, you know the king or whatever whoever lived over here so in one of there are two gardens inside gardens one of them have a male statue and the other one has a, a, a female statue so king and queen who knows and uh, yeah this is a before and after cinematic showing you what I've done that what I've done with the uh, foliage uh, surrounding this I don't know I it could have been done much better I know but uh, I'm I'm glad with uh, with the final look, but the the main and yeah the main touch of this is going to be given by the uh, inside area of that super big oval bot over there. So if you guys are going to use this type of bushes that you just see me propping here and the small ones and the box type of trees and few other stuff you guys are going to make some really cool ones so it's up to you you have to take the export of that road and just plop inside there whatever you need to plop and voila it's going to be pretty damn nice and all those are going to be you know bushes uh, props of course this is the back of the palace and where i was uh, telling you guys that um, i'm gonna add some extra stuff so i was thinking what also what else you see inside of a palace area right Usually all kings and queens are uh, tend to do a, a very small church of their or chapel or something like that. So I went with that. Then I went with a column having the king on top of it or something like this one. And of course some fountains and more bushes, trees and of course flowers plus benches. Um, you will see more of it of course with uh, before and after. I tend to do this kind of before and after cinematics just to keep the, the cinematics a tiny bit shorter than I wanted to uh, and of course to not repeat myself over and over again and oh yeah and also this uh, building which is like a an area you know, like a garden in the garden uh, you know there is a, a covered area a covered small building where they do tend to spend time or they used to spend time uh, there so it's uh, in my opinion just using some of the usual stuff, let's call it. More foliage, <laughs> lots of trees. In my opinion, it, it looks 10 times better than before, of course, just because I, I'm using different type of trees. That's one of the reasons. But then again, yeah, these ones are way much better. Plus, you know, more uh, mods and stuff to use and more and better LUTs that makes things much, much better than before. Here I'm expanding the... Uh, the final touch of uh, this time-lapse video, expanding the homeless area, <laughs> uh, adding way, way more, more, or yeah, many houses, many small houses where people can uh, live, of, of, of small little uh, football uh, field, so they can have a nice area where today they can relax and <laughs> play something. And then there is that big uh, building over there, which is the uh, place where they eat and. Uh, grab a bite or whatever spend time uh, something like that that's what it was supposed to be during the previous stories and I kept it as it is here I love this BOB mod guys it's amazing that you can change trees for everything in the game buildings roads and whatnot so it is really really great I'm using it at maximum I'm getting rid of all you know uh, vanilla props that I don't like and replace them with something else. It's it's really great crazy and great uh, About this mod as well Okay, so I think it's enough with the time-lapse uh, Let's do a jump uh, and talk about what actually we did today and do some renaming as well guys So guys, let's have a look now at what we built today because we kind of built a lot of things today uh, but before we do so, I wanted to let you know that here is the old town and all, all this area that you see over here, this right side, 
This one is... I'm not going to show it to you guys, what I've built over here. This one, it's going to be an, uh, a second extra episode that will be available only for Patreon. So once you watch this video, this one will be already available on my Patreon uh, as early access for, um, for you guys, just as a thank you note and for support. Now moving forward uh, at today's episode and what we build, let's start with naming stuff. I already made my list with what names I can give. And we'll start with this one, with Lobegast uh, District, which uh, it is this one. Uh, the Lobegast District goes from the Yurgum, from this park, future park, which is not yet done, uh, and gets the a part of the Royal uh, Palace and this whole district over here area. So this one is going to be called uh, Ha Kon Dveit. District named after Hox. Thank you so much, buddy, for your help and support. Uh, and I'm gonna name Hox Stadium after you as well. Uh, one of uh, uh, good old friends of of mine and uh, of this channel. And you deserve two of these, like any other, like many other of you guys, like Luke and others who will get more stuff. So don't go too far because some other stuff will be named after um, some of you here we have uh, this uh, small one uh, this the, the homeless uh, shelter is it called homeless shelter yes uh, this one is going to be called shamrock shelter bam thank you so much shamrock for your support here we have this train station, a uh, train station which was called Lumburg train station, but I'm gonna call it. Um, oh, okay, Tom Billings Station. Thank you so much, Tom, for your support as well. And the Erding district is going to be named uh, after Andreas Glazer this. Thank you, Andreas, for your support as well. This is uh, this is the the other district, which is smaller uh, and has the Shamrock Shelter, uh, half of the Royal Summer Palace, actually the palace itself, not the gardens, <laughs> and this Medical University, which I'm gonna keep it for now as Erding Medical University, even though it can be called also Andreas Glazer. Good. That being said, here is the Erding Street to have to keep the name. This is the Lobegast Boulevard, but this one is going to be called or named um, Vastezos Street. Va Vastezos or Vastezos Street. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's from here and goes to here. Bam. Uh, these names are are given after you guys, uh, the, you guys that are chatting and leaving comments and being participating at uh, at this series and uh, taking uh, care of uh, stuff. Um, okay, good. Uh, that one. Then we have another one. This one that goes from here to here. This one it's going to be named Alessandro Fili. Filippi, Filippi or Filippi, Filippi, Filippi. Good. Cozy Street goes from there to there, and this one will be named after Josu H. I forgot to add street. Good. Uh, and this one, Alessandro. Filippi Street as well, okay? Good. Uh, do we have any other big uh, street over here? No, I think we don't have. We have some very small ones. Uh, but uh, yeah, these ones uh, are going to be named differently. Good. Let's have a look, a proper look at this one. Uh, so this is the garden area of the Royal Summer Palace, right? A lot of people will gonna join and walk around here and spend time. But here in the middle, guys, as, as I asked you, maybe you can join the Discord channel, my Discord channel, 
and look at for Andorf uh, uh, channel there as well and you can uh, leave on leave you know some builds uh, for these ones I'm gonna leave a complete list with what you can use for these gardens but try using and making a really cool garden don't make very awkward one something that fits for you know for a royal palace uh, I will uh, come up with the best ones and probably we can start doing some voting maybe uh, then uh, this is the palace uh, with the uh, whole all this area over here the interior gardens this is a lady the queen and maybe this is the king over here or uh, behind here we have this uh, small building in the garden we already have a, an old guy sitting on the bench there uh, I hate this um, these uh, pathways when you make very small close-up uh, nodes they tend to collapse I just found them this when I loaded the game <laughs> they were on the ground in the like few feet in or meters into the ground and I had to raise them up anyway very annoying uh, in my opinion the castle the palace sorry went out pretty cool actually uh, this is the shelter Ah, we can name these streets actually. Uh, this is a shelter, pretty cool, with a playground as well. Now more people are living here. More. Uh, these ones uh, belong to this one. This entire build it will be shown later. And here it's the area together with the. So I changed this on the boat. I turned this uh, trim line going like this. So this trim line uh, cuts this road here and this one over here. Um, good. What else? Uh, the university, I did some changes over here to this small roundabout as well. Um, nothing, not that much, only a few things and I replaced all the trees because they were kind of missing there. And this, we have an area with a lot of other um, buildings, just to replop them down. But you, this kind of these ones you can see them also way much better in the final cinematics. Oh yeah, I didn't show this. I added a tower over here, like a watchtower. I don't know why I felt. Uh, I, I I also saw that in uh, uh, in some palaces in Austria and also in uh, Czech, Czech Republic, you can see such things. They have a call. It's not like a tower. They have a name. I don't know how to call them. Anyways. It is, it's not like for defense or something, it's just for other purposes, I guess. This is the stadium. I thought for a second I colored this one up, but I think I forgot. No, I, I did actually. I remember I made them red or something. Anyways, Hox Stadium. And this one, uh, actually, the, the traffic here is pretty cool. Cars can now go uh, into this district over here or into this one. Uh, by taking this exit or entrance from here and just uh, use these roundabouts over there and here is the the, the new area with buildings uh, that I just add right next to this train station now cool well I think this is it guys uh, thank you very much for watching uh, watch the cinematics at the end here uh, see you in the next one very big thank you for all of you that support my channel on patreon and not only and here by leaving comments you know participating and yeah see you in the next one i salute you <laughs>